blind date with Bobby Elliott. Bobby Elliott reviews the singles of October 1967. I've actually heard this song on an album. It's the Jefferson Airplane, She's Good, A Beautiful Voice. It's a track you have really got to listen to. It's got to sell, a very good record. Is it Vanilla Fudge? Wow, yeah, they aren't going to hit back in the market that they started with the previous record. It's nice but not a commercial thing at all. It's a nice album track though. I like it, but I'm trying to look at it from the point of view of whether it will sell or not. And I don't think it will. It's Dave D. This reminds me of those machines at fairgrounds with all those balls bouncing around. I admire these blokes for always trying something different. They seem to dig the Latin American and Afro-Cuban bit. I can't really grasp this one, but I admire them for trying it. That must be Del Shannon doing a rehash of his old hit. The first one was the best record he's made. He probably thinks the same and is trying to get a second hit out of it. It might sell to discotheques but it's not going to be a hit. It must be on Liberty Records, they are rather fond of doing this sort of thing. They just reissued our single Just One Look in the States. Baby, dream your dream. Close your eyes and try it. Tony Bennett, this is like something they'd play on that roundabout show at 6pm. Again, it sounds like an album track. And it's not really my sort of thing. I don't really dig singers. It's always the sound I listen to. Nice voice, could it be a follow-up to Groovin? It's the young rascals then. I actually expected him to do something along these lines. It's slightly reminiscent of something else. But I think this is going to be a hit. Haven't they changed their approach? It will certainly be very big in the States, because they're better known there than here. That drummer has used those phrases on the last 12 Motown records. It's the four tops. I thought they might have been a bit daring and come up with something different. But they have a big following over here so it will be a hit. It's a shame that Motown don't try to advance a bit. They keep putting out the same dreary stuff. Dreary to me anyway. The first time I heard Lou Rawls, I thought he sounded like a masculine Sarah Vaughan. And I still feel the same. This is very big in the States. He has a lot of big selling albums there. But I don't think it will be a hit over here because it sounds too much like an album track. I didn't think much of the arrangement either. Oh, they hung him by the past and nailed his newly to the fence. Kenneth Williams. I don't think this is off the round the horn show. It sounds as if it was recorded in a studio and the applause was dubbed on afterwards. It sounds very false. I think Kenneth Williams is fantastic but he's done all this before and I'm afraid the record doesn't make me laugh. <laughs> 